Today we're playing the most annoying and maybe even best budget deck in Dominar United Standard. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. And this week, we're heading to our new standard format to play the most annoying budget deck, and maybe one of the best budget decks, in the format that is Mono Blue Delver? Mono Blue, play a thing, put a curious obsession, a pseudo curious obsession on it, counter all your things until you die dot deck. As you can see, this deck a little bit over our normal paper budget at $131. That's because Ledger Shredder is actually kind of expensive, but the deck only has eight total rares in it. So it's super cheap on Magic Arena. So I figured it would be okay if we came in slightly over the paper budget to show off how sweet and powerful and obnoxious this deck is in our new standard format. So let's talk about the deck, what it's trying to do, jump into some games, see it in action. So you might remember standard from a few years ago had this mono blue deck with curious obsession where you pretty much like played an early threat and put a curious obsession on it and then tried to draw cards and counter all of your opponent's stuff for the rest of the game and that was a super budget friendly deck that was actually winning pro tours at the time and now autumn is going to be able to untap with the creature with a curious obsession and counter magic backup now things are starting to look very good here for autumn burchett though with an untapped Black mana source. There could be Kaya's Wrath, so it would need. We would need to see another spell pierce here from Burchett, as Terramander, unfortunately, not a wizard. Oh, but and the one of the gate in the main snaps off this Kaya's Wrath. And this little scary Terry could really run away with this game here for Burchett. Well, now in Dominary United Standard, that play style is back thanks to combat research, which is essentially a curious obsession. We don't get the creature pumping, unfortunately, but we don't have to sack it if we don't attack. Either way, we get to play a cheap creature, stick this on it, and generate a ton of card advantage. And we got some sweet cheap creatures to stick it on. Down for a secret, it's in the one drop slot. We got a ton of spells, so it should flip pretty quickly. Ledger Shredder, we already talked about it a little, just really, really strong. Growing throughout the game, another big flyer, and some card filtering, which is nice. Once we get things going, we just need to chain together enough counter spells to protect our creature, and other protection spells, really, to protect our creatures until our opponent dies, which doesn't take too many turns. So conniving a few times to get rid of extra lands to find more disruption is really, really key. And then we have our big finisher in Hawny Jin, which is kind of absurd in this deck. It's so big, often coming out as like a three mana, five power, 10 power flyer. It gets really, really big, really fast, kills the opponent in a couple attacks, and gives us a discount on our spells. We also have one Talarian Terror, which honestly I don't really like in the deck. I think maybe it's just worth cutting all together. Uh, we sideboard it out a lot, but it's fine. Then we have our protection. So direct protection, slip out the back shore up, just our opponent tries to kill our thing. We cast this for one mana to protect our thing and beat him down and kill him. Fading Hope can disrupt our opponent, can also be protection, bouncing our thing back to hand. Then we have a bunch of counters. Spell Pierce, Essence Scatter, Make Disappear. Uh, Essence Scatter, Make Disappear also benefit from the cost reduction of Hawny Gen. So if we play Hawny Gen and have a mana, we can cast one of these spells. Consider Otherworldly Gaze. Pretty much keep us churning through our deck, find our important pieces, fill our graveyard for Hawny Gen, set up our Delver flips. Mana base, 20 islands, as cheap and simple as can be. In the sideboard, it's basically a bunch more protection and counter customization. A spell Pierce, Negate for control, Essence Scatter for creature decks, more shore ups and slip out the backs to prevent target removal, Fading Hope for creature decks, a bunch more Talarian Terrors. Again, I really don't know what I'm doing with this card, but eh, we'll see. Maybe it'll be better than I think. And that is Mono Blue Tempo, Mono Blue Delver, the most annoying budget deck in standard. So let's jump into some games and see how much can we annoy our opponents? Can we get some salty scoops? How many games can we win? Can this eight rare deck actually compete? Do we have a competitive budget deck in the format? Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Today's video is brought to you by our awesome sponsor, Card Kingdom. You can get all the Dominaria United cards you need and help support the show over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. Budget magic time. We are turn into the dark side in new standard. We're playing some, uh, some mono blue counter all your stuff. Haunty Jin Delver, uh, eight rares, eight, eight total rares in the deck. Uh, yeah, Island Gale. So no one drop. The question's gonna be, do we run out Ledger Shredder or do we try to protect Ledger Shredder? Yeah, let's just consider here. Well, that makes it uh, kind of easier. 
All right, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just pass. We'll ledger shredder next turn and leave up spell pierce. This turn we can leave up make disappear. So the next step is probably the curiosity enchantment to put on ledger shredder. Opponent caves of Koilos. I feel like this is gonna be a salty rope kind of deck. <laughs> I guess that's a sign of a good budget deck. If you can win and make your opponent salty, what more could you want? What more could you want in standard? I know this deck makes me salty. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I feel a little bad about playing it. Mono Blue Curious Obsession was one of my least favorite. Oh my goodness, I could not wait for that deck to rotate. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just make that Jadar disappear. Uh, play the land, run out Ledger Shredder. Uh, yeah, I think we gotta pass. We could cast a second spell just to grow it. The problem is, so we stop a Liliana, cut down, could actually get our Ledger Shredder here before it grows. Opponent. Oh, Esper, eh? Extraction specialist to get back Jadar. Sure. Well, let's just uh, otherworldly gaze. So make disappear to the graveyard. Draw the land, slip out the back on top. I think that's fine. The opponent's going to start decaying. We get to play the land, play Haunty Shin. Hit you with the ledger shredder. That's a, that's a casual 4 4 flyer. And we got a bunch of protection, which is nice. We can still make disappear because of the Jin. Looking at the Jin, plays land. Maybe this is like Esper humans? These are all humans, right? Could be. Ottawa. Yeah, we can't actually stop that, so that that works. Bona gets in, hits us. I mean, we do get to just run our stuff back out though. We might stay on defense here. Let's replay the Hawny Jin. Have not done a great job of triggering Ledger Shredder. Stay on D. This lifelink's annoying. If it wasn't for lifelink, we'd be fine with racing, but we can't have our opponent gaining three a turn. About it. Resolute reinforcements, sure. We don't really care about that too much. Goes attacking, goes attacking. Interesting, okay. I mean, we're gonna block. I don't know what the, the blowout is here, but block and block. Janu. All right, well, in that case, we will just slip out the back, save the Jin, take zero. Untap. Ugh, more lands, more lands, more lands. Maybe we hold on to the land for discarding purposes? Are we just passing? Yeah, I think we're just passing. Are we passing? We could get in for six. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, you know what? Let's get in for six. Hit you down to 16. I mean, I guess we are trying to be the aggro, really. Well, we should be able to trigger Ledger Shredder this turn. We have a handful of counters, although the Spell Pierce hasn't looked great. Opponent wedding announcement. Um, Yeah, Spell Pierce that. Opponent pays. Make disappear that. Connive, discard a land. Opponent. Ooh, big attack. All right, that's fine. So let's block one of the creatures, take our beads. <sighs> yeah, let's let's do this now. Oh, graveyard. Oh, I think we keep us in scatter. Do we keep us in scatter? You know what? Graveyard, graveyard. Keep the ledger shredder. Bone gets another zombie. We draw ledger shredder. Uh, 9, 18, 19, 20, but they gain three. Yeah, I think we gotta stay on D. We're out of counters though, which is awkward. Out of protection of all kinds. All right, another wedding announcement. That one sticks. And all right, well, we get to connive. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, discard. You know what? Let's just discard the land. That's fine. We'll discard the land. Wow, gonna keep attacking. Well, we finally get rid of this extraction specialist. This is, I think, good for us. So we drop to seven. The zombie returns. We'd love to draw a spell here. That would be the best. We draw a land. Well, okay, play the land. Play Ledger Shredder. Play Haunty Shin. Double Connive. Discard. Discard. Hit you for a ton. All right, opponent, draw some removal. Draw some removal or die. That's where we're at. The Jins are haunting. Haunting? Haunting. What is this word? Opponent. Okay, that's fine. You can get back a creature, but none of these creatures change anything. And casting them. Yeah, opponent's dead, right? Everything flies. Yeah, opponent's dead. Wow. Okay. Haunting Jin. 
That's a, that's a magic card. So, opponent is a very creature-heavy deck. I think that means we want Essence Scatters. I don't know about Fading Hope. We want Essence Scatters. What's bad? What do we not want? Like, the Negates seem bad. The Spell Pierce is kind of okay-ish. Maybe we just go more Creature Protection? We definitely don't want Negate. Could bring in Tolarian Serpents. Let's go down two Spell Pierce. Yeah, maybe three spell pierces. I don't know if our opponent has enough enough non-creatures for us to spell pierce, honestly. Uh, Terra doesn't fly, though. Yeah, let's just go one more slip out the back, run it like that. Well, I mean, that went pretty well. Honey Jin just gets so big so fast. Can you find us? So opponent's on the play. I mean, that was not even like an insane draw for our deck. That was kind of like average. Delver time. Well, let's see if Delver's good in standard. Opponent, tap land. Well, land and... Yeah, let's run out Delver. Hopefully it doesn't die, because we don't have another creature. Opponent. All right, just resolute reinforcements. That's fine. So I think we're actually going to otherworldly gaze. Actually, do we? Maybe we got to leave up make it. Yeah, let's let it go. All right, no flipping. Play the land. Pass the turn. Honey June's good. So we get to leave up make disappear. If we don't need to make disappear, we can gaze to set up to set up the Delver flip. Yeah, I don't even know if we want to bother countering that. Sure. Opponent goes to combat, gets in, hits us. All right, well, the race is on. We would like to wait one more turn to play the Jin so we can have protection. We'll see. Let's otherworldly gaze. Set up Delver. Do we want all of these? Do we want two Delvers? Fading Hope's fine. Essence Scatter's fine. So let's think about this. We flip with the Essence Scatter. Leave up our mana. Next turn, we Hawny Jin. When are we going to have time to play Delver? You know what? Let's just keep them all. Sure. Let's do it in this order. So we'll draw the Essence Scatter. Flip the Delver. I guess there is a question as to whether we want to attack with it. We could stay on D. Opponent's going to attempt to cut down. So if we slip out the back, it can't flip, which is awkward. If we make disappear, yeah, let's make disappear. So counter the cut down, flip the Delver. Play the land, hit you for three. Opponent, land, wedding announcement. Can't actually stop that at the moment. That's gonna be an issue eventually. Opponent smacks us. Yeah, kind of regretting leaving this uh, this Delver on top now with how this played out. Well, play the land, go to combat, hit you with Delver. Down to 14, Honey Jin. Pass the turn. So at least we got a blocker. Uh, yeah, that is that is not part of our plans. Essence Scatter the Rafid. And now I don't even know if our opponent can attack, honestly. Wow, gets in there. Um, well, I mean, yeah, kill Tenacious Underdog. Opponent wants to draw the card, I think, it looks like. Sure. Play Delver. Otherworldly Gaze, grow the Jin. Mill and Mill. Keep the combat research for next turn. Hit you for seven. Wow, we are just picking this deck apart past the turn. Oh, maybe this deck's just good about it. This is the this is the Richard special. Richard sent me this deck and said, I'm killing it. I'm killing it with this deck. Only got eight rares. Could be good for budget magic. And uh, so far, that seems to be true. Uh, Yeah, we'll just slip out the back with that one and then kill ya. Slip out the back is so good. Opponent hits us. Uh, yeah, we're not going to block. I mean, this is just lethal, though, right? Like, our opponent just dies. Uh, No reveal. Combat research. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got him. All right. That was, that was real good. That was real, real good. Sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. We are playing the most annoying budget deck in standard. Oh, no lands. All right. We got a mulligan this. Playing some uh, mono blue Delver Shenan. Wow. Triple Del. Okay. Three Delvers. What more could we possibly want? Uh, I guess lands, but uh, yeah. Go, go Delvers. All right. Don't kill him. No meatball maskers, please. And please, ugh, this is awkward because we want our Delvers to flip, but we also really need to draw lands. Ooh, Grixis, all right. Delver one, opponent. Yeah, drawing a land here would be spectacular. Opponent, looking at the Delver, thinking about the Delver. <laughs> wow, two Volt Surging in the most painful way possible. We do not draw land, but we play another Delver. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Really need two lands. We don't need a ton of lands, but we need more than one. Opponent, Shivan Reef. Graveyard, Trespasser to eat the Delver. Delver. Well, there's the land. <laughs> All right, play the land. Play the Delver. 
past the turn. We need him. Now we need him to flip. Now we need him to flip. That's the next step. We got spell first for this turn. This trespasser is kind of an issue. Opponent hits us. Thankfully, there's nothing to exile and gain life. That does help a bit. No blocks. Down to 16. All of their removal is getting around the spell pierce. Not ideal. Delver. No flip. All right, let's try to draw some cards. Combat research on the Delver. This removal spell number 30? Yes. Well, we will spell pierce that one. Hopefully, this is the end of the removal. Now, get in, draw a card. Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't looking great. Yeah, opponent's got a lot of removal. Although, we can fight through the removal if we have lands. That's been the biggest issue. We haven't had enough, enough mana to deploy threats and defend our creatures. So, we've just been deploying threats, and they've been dying. We really need to be able to deploy threats and leave up uh, a protection spell here. All right, Fable the Mirror Breaker. This would be a great time for Delver to flip, but it doesn't. All right, well, play the land, play Ledger Shredder. Play Consider to trigger the Ledger Shredder. Discard a Make Disappear. Essence Scatter to the Graveyard. No attacks. Oh, the saddest Delver ever. Found it. Gonna find some more removal. Well, I mean, the Ledger Shredder's something. That's something. Oh my god, discards two Meat Hawk Massacres. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Found it. Infernal Grass, the Ledger Shredder. Gets in me. No, come on now. Not another one. How much removal you got in this deck? Where's all you. Where's the room for your. Oh, jeez. All right. Yeah, this one's looking pretty over. Well, that's a very odd draw for our opponent's deck. <laughs> Three lands, 45 removal spells. Opponent so hits us to six. We draw even more lands. Play Ledger Shredder. Fading Hope the token, but yeah, this is just too late to matter. Discard the land. Land to the bottom. All right, on to, on to game two. If anything, we probably should not have shown our opponent that much of our deck. So the, the big problem, oh, that was interesting. Well, let's bring in Shore up, slip out the back. I don't even know if we want to negate. Talarian Terror seems weak against this deck. Maybe go down the Essence Scatters? I mean, I think we just want to protect our creatures and win. That's the... That's the goal. Run like that. Same thing, but with lands. <laughs> That's our request. Let's do the same thing, but draw lands. Well, we learned that Triple Delver, not good enough on its own. We will play first. Wow, Zero Lander again. All Zero Landers is awkward. I'll keep. I guess we put Shore up to the bottom. Yeah, that. Sand does not make us happy. The Hawny Jins are good, but they're going to be very difficult to protect without having extra mana. Well, land go. Up out it. It is a little unlucky that we got two zero landers to start this game. There's the shore up we tried to put to the bottom. I mean, we will counter literally anything our opponent casts. Doesn't matter what it is, we will... All right, there is an exception. We're not going to counter a corpse appraiser with nothing in the graveyard. <laughs> I guess... Oh my god, okay, pass the turn. All right, yeah, not, not great, not great. Opponent goes to combat, gonna hit us. Sure, sure, sure. Corpse Appraiser can't even get through a Haunting Gen if we ever can cast one. Land. Well, now we gotta counter something because we're gonna be, all right, well, Delver. At least that's something we can play, although this does put us down on mana, which is not ideal. About it adapts. Fable of the Mia break, huh? Yeah, we're in such bad shape. Spell Pierce, make our opponent tap out. Yep. Fable the Mirror Breaker down. About it gets in hits us. Down to 14. Delver flips with a spell pierce. Well, combat research. We gotta do something. Hit you, draw a card. Oh, God. Pass the turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, I guess we're seeing the bad of the deck, which when, when it runs bad, it runs real bad. Goes to combat. Gets in for a million. Makes a treasure. Yeah, we're super dead here. Lightning strike. Well, I mean, we're going to try to slip out the back, but we just don't have enough mana to really defend our Delver effectively. And we don't really have a way to beat the board. Yeah, maybe we should have countered the Corpse Appraiser just because it's a body. All right, yeah, that's, that's just lethal. I think the deck... Huh. 
Yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. Well, there's a land. Way too late to actually matter, though. So we get in for four, but four is just not nearly enough. We're just so far behind on mana. Yeah. All right. Well, we got to see the bad. We got to see the bad. Sometimes you get mana screwed. Ouch. Budget magic time. We Oh, no threats. Well, we got otherworldly gaze. That can dig pretty deep for a threat. We're playing some uh, super salty, mono blue, counter all your stuff, combat research, Delver in standard. Don't know if it's the best budget deck, but it's got to be the most annoying, which maybe that makes it the best. <laughs> I do love annoying opponents. All right, land go. So we really need this otherworldly gaze to find us a threat. Uh, yeah, mill them all. All right, Honeygen is a threat for the future. We need a couple of turns, though, because we need to be able to defend it. Pony called Anvil. Well, we'll spell pierce that. Play the land. Yeah, I think we got to wait one more turn before we Jin. We need to find, we need to find the land. Lagamos, I don't even know what this is. Being a combat in your turn, create a two one red elemental with a taste and trample, say I could be in the next end step. Okay, uh, yeah, that, that resolves. Otherworldly gaze. So mill the land, land ledger shredder. Yeah, whatever, you can you can hit us with this. We really want our Haunted Gin to live. Oh, and it hits us for two, sure. So we get to untap, play the land, play the Jin. Hopefully between Spell Pierce and Fading Hope, we should be able to keep it alive. Oh, boon it, Sulphur Springs. The full border uh, pain lands look real nice. Whenever another creature you control dies, draw a card if it was attacking. Otherwise, what is going on with this deck? Uh, well, we can't Spell Pierce that. Let's, let's just bounce it. And now this is pretty good because we get to play Ledger Shredder. Combat research, connive, discard a delver, hit our opponent for four, draw a card. Yeah, let's just pass. All right, spell pierce, keep our stuff live. About it. That's fine. Gonna do some synthesizing. Finds a volt surge that can actually kill our our gin. That's unfortunate. All right, yep, so Ledger Shredder triggers. Oh, just kidding. Uh, that's that's pretty nice. Discard the land. Shore up the Jin. Yeah, that was, a, that was a real good draw. That was a real good draw. More synthesizing. Hits a land. I think we're in good shape now. Opponent makes a token, passes. Yeah, this Lagamos has not been super impressive. Well, let's consider. Delver to the, we really don't want Delvers at this point. Delver to the graveyard. Go to combat, smack ya. And now we have multiple forms of protection, which is sweet. Uh, yeah, your go, bonnet. Slip out the back, super good, super, super good, bonnet. We just have lethal. I think if our opponent taps all the way down, we just kill him. We should be able to get enough stuff in the graveyard to, to make it lethal. We could even like counter our own spell if we had to. So I think what we do, opponent plays Garna. So we make disappear Garna. We do not actually pay for it. Opponent pays, sure. Opponent's tapped out. Now we just slip out the back the Hawny Jin. And knive away a Ledger Shredder. And that should be lethal, right? Does this gain life? It does not. All right, opponent hits us. Kill ya? Well, that uh, that went well. <laughs> that, that, when the deck is snowballing, it is hard to beat. So opponent's playing some sort of, I don't even know, a very weird form of sack deck that I haven't actually really seen anyone play before. I'm not sure how we want a sideboard for this. Well, again, the terror doesn't seem great. So when you go down the terror, maybe the fading hope's good. 
Maybe like go down a spell pierce for a slip out the back. Try it like that. One of the awkward things about this deck is it doesn't actually sideboard all that well. Well, it sideboards fine. It doesn't sideboard all that much. Like we're mostly just tweaking. Like, do we want to counter more non-creature spells or creature spells? How good is bouncing a creature? Like, do we need more targeted protection? So it's usually just these like very small tweaks because we already have most of what we want in the in the main deck. So it's very very little around the edge changes most of the time. On a game two we're on the draw can we keep a no creature hand we have what 12 creatures in our deck yeah we're gonna keep it this might be too greedy all right we get to rest i assume they take combat research but we'll see there is with only 12 creatures there is a bit of a ooh delver do we play it i think we gotta wait i think we gotta wait one turn we have multiple ways to protect it next turn opponent's going to get down there anvil well delver versus the world play the delver Ledger Shredder is a good draw. At least we're hitting our creatures. That's that's pretty helpful. Pass the turn. Voldir and Epicure. Yup. So opponents gonna start doing their things. They get to sack the blood and make a dork. We're hoping to flip the Delver. Discards a land, makes a dork, draws a card, and does Delver flip? Yes. Okay, that's good. So Delver flips. Play the land. Do we want to get down Ledger Shredder? Probably. Let's play Ledger Shredder. Hit you with the Delver. There's probably an argument to just going in on the Delver here, but we got to be careful to outpace. All right, they're going to try to kill the Ledger Shredder. So if we shore up, yeah, let's just shore up. We can connive away the otherworldly gaze. Grow the Ledger Shredder. We're trying to play around Meat Hook Massacre, basically. That's the that's the card we gotta be super careful of. Hit you down to 14. Next turn, I think we can hopefully get this combat research on something. Ooh, just a tap land, all right. And weather like completed. All right, that'll be good eventually, maybe. But uh, I don't know if eventually is gonna happen for our opponent this game. Uh, combat research on Ledger Shredder. Go to combat, hit ya draw a card all right another gaze yeah we'll just pass and leave up all of our protection things are looking good though i don't know if our opponent can get back out of this i don't know if all their little sacrifice synergies i don't know if they can keep up with just like here's a bunch of big flying things yeah let's counter the the real ob sure so opponent gets a copy they get to scry to the top yeah we'll just we'll take our two and then i think we do otherworldly gaze here to trigger ledger shredder probably just discard the fading hope well I'll definitely discard a fading hope now what do we got on the top well graveyard yeah we'll keep the consider in the land that's fine so we get to draw the land and then draw the consider hit our opponent kill the actually you know what whatever we're not even gonna kill the ob <laughs> We're just gonna kill our opponent. This ob is doing literally nothing here. So opponent left something on top, but I'm not sure what that card could be that can get through our protection. So we draw the consider, we play the land, we pass the turn. All right, opponent, it better be a good one. Blood Tithe Harvester, not good enough. Not good enough at all, opponent. Yeah. So I get to gain a life, which means it doesn't look like they're immediately dead, but they, once we trigger this ledger shredder, if you control a demon or a devil, all right, we don't want them to gain more life. Sure. Down to 13 otherworldly gaze. Graveyard, graveyard. And opponent. Yeah, they, they know what's happening. Trigger the ledger shredder, kill them. And so good. I mean, when the deck just like runs smoothly, it feels really hard for a lot of these decks to beat. It feels super strong. All right. Well, got him, got him. Sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. We are mulliganing. Trying to annoy point, uh, opponents. <laughs> opponents. Trying to annoy opponents with a... Uh, some mono blue super obnoxious delver action sounds awkward hopefully these other other worldly gazes of all things carry we'll see we need to find lands and threats which is a bit awkward well mill mill keep a land well that's step one 
I mean, we're gonna get to dig pretty deep in our deck thanks to these other worldly gazes. Opponent appears to be Espering. I mean, all it really takes is one threat that we can defend and get this combat research on, and then we're then we're in business. Actually, Delver might be legit good here. This might be the this might be the Delver game. Delver is the threat that we can play and and leave up a spell pierce next turn. Opponent tap land. Well, let's keep gazing. Well, mill them all. Draw land. Okay, so we haven't been doing very well finding a threat, but we have been hitting our lands. Raven Man. Yeah, I assume that's bad for us. Oh, opponent on two lands? All right. Well, there's a Delver. So mill the lands, keep the Delver. Draw the Delver. Play the Delver. Pass the turn. All right, go, go, Delver. If our opponent taps out for something, Though we don't need to counter. Then we'll gaze. Or a fiend. Well, we actually just can't counter that. All right, well, I guess we're gazing. Well, there's all of our threats. So even if Delver flips, it doesn't get through. Yeah, we're gonna keep them all. Ledger Shredder first. Delver is not going to flip. Play Ledger Shredder past the turn. Next turn, we should be able to flip the Delver. Opponent, Infernal Grasp. Well, we'll Spell Pierce that. We would like Ledger Shredder to live. Opponent gets in, hits us, connives. Yeah, I mean, I guess we block. All right, so, reveal slip out the back, flip the Delver. Combat research on Ledger Shredder. Hit ya. Draw the Haunty Jin. Pass the turn, leave up the slip out the back. About it, tap land. Does our opponent keep attacking? Liliana, okay. So that gets to get rid of something. I mean, I guess it's the Delver. Yeah, sack the Delver. Passes. Yeah, phase out Rafine. This is awkward. Pay the one. Go to combat, kill Liliana. Uh, play the Haunty Gen. Pass the turn. Don't kill it. Opponent, land. Mihook Massacre is a blowout here. Wow, opponent just passes? Okay. So this could be Wandering Emperor, which we can counter. So I guess we get in with Haunty Gen. There's Wandering Emperor. Well, we're gonna make that disappear. Wow, all right, just takes the eight. All right, pass the turn. No meatballs, no meatballs. Opponent, gonna cut down the ledger shredder. Can't do anything about that. Can they also kill the Jin? But we didn't get meat hook massacred at least. Kaido, okay. I mean, I think this is good. This gives us a pathway to winning the game. Loots. So we just need to otherworldly gaze into something that lets us get through with this gin, and we should be able to win right now? Or maybe our opponent just attacks. Ooh, opponent has another land. Okay, Raven Man. Makes a 1-1, one, one, but it can't block. Opponent learns. Okay, so, otherworldly gaze. Can we find a way? You know what? Oh, if they hit a Meat Hook Massacre, it's so bad. How many things let us win the game this turn? Not that many. We need exactly Fading Hope. Yeah, okay, because of this, I think we just mill and mill and keep the Jin. The opponent phases out Kaido. We draw. We attack with the Jin. Opponent's got a block with Rafine. We could have gazed upkeep to try to hit an answer. I think this is better. The way this goes wrong is if they have exactly Meat Hook Massacre. I guess double removal. Sphinx of Clear Skies. All right, so that gives our opponent a blocker. Maybe. But not enough? Not enough? Yeah, that worked. That worked somehow. All right, against this deck. Well, go down. Maybe Telerian Terror is just not good enough. <laughs> I feel like we cut Telerian Terror every time. So cut Telerian Terror. Bring it in a gate. Bring it in a gate. The Essence Scatters do things. Fading Hope also doesn't seem bad. Maybe something like that. Yeah, let's try it like that. All right, so opponent's on the play. Esper, Esper mid-range. Everybody loves their Liliana decks at the moment. We get to play first. Just kidding. 
<laughs> our opponent gets to play first. <laughs> it clearly says that on our screen. <laughs> I mean, maybe they choose that we play first. Seems unlikely, but... Well, go, go, Delver. Go, go, Delver of Secrets. Land, Delver of Secrets. Please don't kill it. If you do, we're going to be sad. Because that is our only threat at the moment. Opponent, play, play a Raven Man. Raven Man? Well, we'll reveal. Play the land. Go to combat, hit ya. Infernal Grasp. So we can spell pierce this, but then our opponent can just Liliana, which is even worse. I think we let it go. This might be, this might be wrong. We'll see. Now we do need to find another threat. Liliana's just really good against us. Opponent, tap land. Well, let's consider. Slip out the back, go into the graveyard. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no threats at the moment. We got a bunch of counters, which is not the worst. Yeah, got Essence Scatter Rafine. All right, there we go. There we go. There's a Honey Gin. There's the Honey Gin we were looking for. Okay, can we protect it? Infernal Grasp. No, we cannot protect it. <laughs> well, consider Mill the Land. Play the lad past the turn. All right, other whirly gaze that can go digging. That can go digging. Hopefully that finds us something. Wedding announcement. Yeah, opponent's really playing around. Spell pierce effects. Graveyard. Yeah, we'll keep the honey gin. Are we running it out this turn though? Probably. Yeah, we're going to. We have double. We have double removal. We have double removal or double double counters to prevent removal. So I think we go for it. Pass the turn. Hopefully two counters will be enough. And now we get the slip out the back, which will definitely help. Opponent land. Lisa. Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make that disappear for sure. <laughs> that would be a bad one for us. So counter Lisa. Do we wanna gaze? We do want the slip out the back. I think we do. Graveyard, graveyard. Keep the slip out the back. All right, untap. Combat, oh, main phase. Combat, combat research on the Jin. Otherworldly gaze. Mill, yeah, mill and mill. Get in, hit you for nine. Draw ledger shredder, pass the turn. Oh, we got protected for one turn. Liliana. Spell Pierce to tap our opponent down. I think this works. So opponent pays. Yeah, you get a Liliana. Opponent takes down. We slip out the bag. And then win. Oh, that's what we wanted. Oh, we should have other really gays in response. Opponent, yeah, learning the lesson. Draws a card, otherworldly gaze, upkeep, just to make sure, and that's how you beat a Liliana. The haunty in. <laughs> taunting, taunting the Planeswalkers of the format. Ranking up. Stack's good. Eight rares. Not bad. Budget magic time. We are <laughs> annoying more opponents with uh, some eight rare mono blue, mono blue Delver, mono blue Tempo, mono blue counter all your stuff and... <laughs> Make you sad? Eh. All right, little land heavy, but we'll we'll keep it. Our deck doesn't have that many lands, so hopefully we stop drawing them. Boy, these Tokyo lands look so good, so so good. Well, we're gonna run out Delver. If it dies, it dies. If it doesn't die, then uh, we get some free damage. Esprey, Delver. Oh boy, not flipping. Well, play the land. Hit you for one. I mean, we should be able to use Otherworldly Gaze to flip Delver, although they could have Liliana. If they tick down a Liliana, do we... All right, Pwn's going to take some damage. Do we bounce the Delver is the question. Uh, Yeah, I think we do. Let's pick up Delver. We get to Scry. Well, that would have been good last turn. Uh, you know what? Maybe we keep it. Uh, we will sacrifice zero creatures. Untap, land, Delver again. Hopefully enough to kill this Liliana. We can discard a land. 
gonna tick up could discard the otherworldly gaze but i actually want to want to cast it i think otherworldly gaze spell pierce this turn seems good uh plus we kind of flooded all right lands all around opponent tap land Kaido. spell pierce that otherworldly gaze set up the delver mill mill keep the spell pierce untap flip the delver Play the land, play the Haunijin, kill Liliana. All right, well, I mean, uh, we're not in the worst shape. We'll see what our opponent has. We are down to just a spell pierce. Well, opponent knows about that. We're gonna, we're gonna spell pierce that. Upkeep, gaze, see if we can find another counter maybe. Well, mill mill. We did not find a counter, but slip out the back can protect something. Smack you for a bunch. Bone it down to 10. Can we close it out? About it. Void runs. Well, slip out the back. The Haunty Jin. Oh, this is not going well for our opponent. Go to combat and kill ya? Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Opponent's playing the best deck in standard and had no chance. One of the best decks in standard and had no chance. No chance against our eight rares. Well, that was pretty good. Go down to Larian Terror. Go up the Spell Pierce. Go up a couple of Negates, probably. Go down maybe a Shore Up Essence Scatter. That might leave us light on creature removal. Yeah, let's let's try it like that. I mean, we saw mostly planeswalkers there, although I imagine they have like Rafines and some of the some of the creatures as well. Well, that went pretty well. I mean, our opponent even resolved the Liliana too. We had <laughs> a land heavy land hand resolved. They resolved the Liliana, and we still just blew them out. Blew them out. Opponent had wraths and removal, and it just it didn't matter. Maybe this deck is like actually good. I don't know if I wanted to be good. I wanted to be good because. I like having competitive budget decks in standard. That's one of my favorite things. Like people should be able to play competitively if they want to without spending $500 or, you know, $300 on arena, whatever the ridiculous cost is. At the same time, oh, I'm on a blue. <laughs> Opponents pile of expensive magic cards. Doesn't want a piece. No piece. That was good. We get the win, took away our opponent's will to uh, to play magic, and that's the ultimate victory with a budget deck. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about the most annoying budget deck in standard? And overall, we went four and one with the deck. And our one loss uh, kind of was variance or maybe on us. Uh, it was a game against Rakdos where both of our games, we drew zero land opening hands and had to mulligan and then just really couldn't get back in the game. So that was our one loss. Otherwise, we played a lot of really good decks, a lot of black mid-range base decks, which are super popular. And the combination of fast clocks and protection in disruption is really really good against those decks we saw our deck beating Liliana's and Kaido's and all that stuff even with disruption even with sweepers so I feel like this deck's actually like oddly legitimate and pretty competitive in standard it might be the most competitive budget deck if you're looking to just like win games rank up on a budget I think this is the direction to go uh, sadly a little expensive in paper and even there it's not like super expensive normally we try to stay under $100 in paper this is 131 so a little bit above the budget because of ledger shredder but still the deck is pretty cheap and it's really really good this might be the answer oddly to all those Liliana decks those mid-range decks floating around I I think the sideboard could definitely use some work. I don't really know what the best options are. A Telerian Terror was pretty disappointing, but the main deck felt really, really solid. I don't think I'd change anything about the main deck. So if you're looking to rank up on Arena to compete in tournaments on a budget, I think this is the way to go. Just counter all your opponent's stuff, draw a bunch of cards, make your creatures huge, win the game quickly. We even got some salty scoops along the way. That last match, our opponent, they had sweepers in Liliana's and Kaido's, and it just didn't matter. We protected our stuff, we countered our stuff, and then our opponent scooped the whole match in frustration, which, I mean, that's a sign of a good budget deck. So that's Mono Blue Delver, the most annoying budget deck in standard. That's our budget magic for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon. Want more budget action? Well, make sure to check out last week's Budget Magic, where we played a zero rare $22 burn deck in Dominary United Standard.